Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to have some fun with embossing folders. I first pulled these out in 2020, summer of 2020, and you guys became familiar with uh, these fancy folded rosettes that I use the embossing folder for. And that was this one right here. And I have used this poor embossing folder to death. As you can see, it's been well used. You can't even read the writing on it anymore. I've probably made about a thousand rosettes from both of my sales and then other projects that I've done. So I am ready to... I should have opened the window first. Anyways, so you guys have seen these different ones. I will leave a link down to my um, video that I first introduced these and you guys can take a look at some of the samples I had there. And today we are going to be playing with this one. This one is a fancy folded diagonal border and this is what it looks like once you put it together. I've been playing with this and let me show you these little ones that I did with it. These ones I created using the Simple Stories. This is the six by eight paper pad and I had some scraps from it and you can just easily cut these in strips like this one here and it makes this size, which is just a little shy of six inches. Okay, so it's about five and three fourths inch once you cut it the length, the long way. So I just made some solid color ones and the double-sided paper works best because you can see the different color coming through on the other side and it just gives it a little bit more dimension. So I was playing with all of these and that's a snowflake one. And I really love the way it turned out. I even tried using foam. This is foam. Okay, and foam works with that too. But the thing with these is they're really easy to make. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this using a scoreboard because this set is no longer available for purchase. It's been discontinued for about five years or more. And I know somebody's going to ask me, and I'm telling you all right now, it is discontinued. So this is why I'm going to show you how to do it on the scoreboard. And I'm just going to show you what I created here. I made a little bag topper for this one. I just used one of the papers from the 6x8 paper pad. I used this one here, and I didn't even have to cut it down, but it fits in this, in this resealable bag. And I just taped it on the back because I want to reuse it. And I took... I took a piece of paper and I just made a bag topper out of it and I used to do scrapbooking and I have these scissors so I just use them to create this border on the bottom. Use what you have. If you have punches you can use punches to create a border or anything. You guys can do whatever you want. You could just leave it plain if you want. But I use some of these sticker bling. That's what I used. Adhesive rhinestones. I just put them all on each of the scallops and on the back side I cut the back side shorter because I didn't want it to show past the scallops so that's what I did with that and then you could put some of this Dollar Tree snow tool on it and it's so cool because it looks like it's snowing on the trees and then I have this embellishment that I created and I used these nesting dies that some of you have. These nesting dies here. I cut out two of them, the large one and the smaller one. I just wanted to see which one I liked best. So I used those. And I used these rosettes. Let me show you. Tina Marie, who is Mrs. Valley here on YouTube, she had created these for me um, when I was in Canada. And I still have some of them. So I just created... Um, I put a little snowflake on some of them and some of them she has gems on them. So that's what I did with this snowman here. He came from the ephemera pack. He was a little bit too big so I photocopied him and fussy cut him out and I added this snowflake to him here. If you can see she put like snowflake sequin or glitter around the edge of the crepe paper rosette which I thought was really cute. It's a nice touch. 
And so with this, what I did was I double layered my folds. I have this gold glitter paper and what I did was to keep it glued down instead of gluing each one of these down, I just put a strip of paper on top of this, I just glued it on there. Okay, and then just put that there, put this on top and you have a bag topper. Put it on off to the side if you want. You could add more. You could put like snowflakes. You could add snowflakes to it or snowballs, some pom-poms and you know, just put them wherever you want. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to make that using your scoreboard. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, if you want to make multiples, get a sheet of paper, a strip of paper that's about like maybe this one is two and a half inches wide and however long you want it to be doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a score line on this right down the center, which is at one and a quarter. So I'm going to go all the way down and this way you can make two. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your embossing folder and this is what I did to get these marks. And wherever the top of it was, I made a tick, okay? So that's how I was able to do these measurements for you. I use this as my guide. And it's better to use something with a um, your scoring tool or a stylus or something like that because you're going to need to see um, where the tick marks are so that you can draw your diagonal lines. And I'm going to use this green line here on my scoreboard to create those diagonal lines. Okay, so we're going to do the first tick at one. Just make a small tick, if you guys can see that right there. And then we're going to go to one and a half and make a tick. Three and one quarter, make a tick. Three and three fourths. Five and a half. Six. Seven and three fourths. We're gonna go to eight and a quarter. And we're going to go to 10 and 10 and a half. Then you're going to take your paper and you're going to flip it completely over to the back side. Okay. And then we're going to start at one and seven eighths, two and three eighths, four and one eighth, four and five eighths, six and three eighths, six and seven eighths, eight and five eighths, nine and an eighth, 10 and seven eighths. That's right at the tip there. Okay. So then you're going to flip it back to this side. Okay, flip it back to the right side and then you're going to take your paper and line up the tick marks. You're going to line it up with the first tick mark at the top and the first tick mark at the bottom. Okay, so you're going to line it up along this green line here. If you guys don't have a center line like this, I would highly recommend you create one on your scoreboard so that you can um, have an easier time with projects like this. So you're going to start at that top tick right there and then go down to this one. And then you're going to slide it over to the next one. And then line that bottom one up. Okay, so that's your first ones. All right. And then you're going to slide it to the next one. Line that up. Slide it over to that one. I put my baby finger underneath it because at a certain point it's going to hit this edge here and this just helps it maneuver a little bit better.
Okay, so there you have it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut along this first score line that we made. Okay, so then you're going to take your paper now, you can see where the score lines are, and you're going to just fold this one and it just naturally creases for you over that one. Okay, and you can burnish it so that it stays. And then you're gonna just do the next one the same way. There's no effort in this. The paper just wants to crease all on its own. You just have to push it a little bit and it creases for you. And then the last one. Really easy. And then just burnish that. Okay, so there's that. And if you wanted to, you can have another piece that's a little bit smaller and do the same thing and then just double layer it like that. So if you did something like this, okay, it's the same effect. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this one more time. And you can always just burnish that first one. There's that. And so I'm gonna do this other one here that I've already done. I'm going to do it in the gold. And it's done that quickly. Now, if you guys wanted to, you can just put a little bit of glue just on the edge here, along the edge, and stick it down to your project like that, instead of having it flat like these ones. Okay. And that will just give it a more three-dimensional look if you do that. Okay, so then I'm going to do this one too. And these are larger pieces. This one is about a half inch shorter than this one. Just pop that in there like that. This one, you wanted to triple layer it, you could. Like that. Let's stick it on something like this and voila, create something else. So let me show you how to glue this down. And I will be using hot glue for this. So you're going to try to center it as best you can. And just put a teeny drop of glue. It doesn't have to be much. Now, as you guys can see, I'm starting in the center, and that's because if I start in the center, I know that everything's going to be lined up. And like I said, you can always do it this way. Actually, I'm gonna cut this off here. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut 
cut this off here. And I'm gonna glue this down here. So let's try the 3D method. So that's how it looks. And then this side here, we can tack this down. Okay, you guys, so that's what I have for you today. I hope you guys will find this easy enough to try using your scoreboard to create these diagonal borders. You can make them for bag toppers or you can um, put them in your scrapbook pages if that's what you do. You can use them as trims for loaded bags or loaded envelopes and things like that so it's just a really really fun project i hope you guys try it if you do go ahead and tag me let me see what you guys have created i would love to see what you make and um just remember you saw it here first <laughs> okay so you guys take care have a great day and thank you so much for watching go ahead and leave a comment down below let me know what you think and um don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell if you want to be notified when I upload more videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.